Hello, everyone. This is Linda Drummond from the Worldwide Headquarters of Network in Action. And today, I'm honored to be speaking with Greg Mysick. Hello, Greg. Hello, Linda. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you. And you? I'm doing great. Fabulous. So, Greg, how about telling us the name of your company and what exactly you do? Okay, the name of our, it's a nonprofit, it's a 501c3 called the Young Inventors Association of America. We teach teachers how to teach kids how to invent. The kids then invent and then we judge. And we have preliminary competitions and finals in May, and we're in our 35th year. Wow, that is amazing. Mm -hmm. how, did, how did you get started with this nonprofit? I actually formed the Houston Inventors Association in August of 1982, um, and um, I'm sorry, November of 1983, uh, and we're entering our fourth, 40th year, and then they started up the Young Inventor Showcase in 1988, and then I adopted it uh, subsequently, and I've been running it ever since. Wonderful. So tell me, did you have any success stories you could share with us? I have two success stories. Uh, the first is um, in 2014, there was a sixth grader from River Oaks Elementary called, named Sean Gilmore, who was our final, he won the finals. He won the, the, the whole competition. And he invented a, um, a pup tent for two kids to be able to sleep on a single bed with a divider in the middle. He called it the sleepover tent. And his mother, who is a federal judge, uh, Vanessa Gilmore, Judge Gilmore, got a manufacturer out of China. And if you Google Sean Gilmore sleepover tent, not only will you see his product, but he turned himself into a motivational speaker and he now paid for his college education with that. So that's one of our big uh, success stories. The other big success story is um, the Jimmy Fallon show uh, used to put on for many years, would put on a um, young inventor episode every three months. And the producer would come to me to feed the uh, episode with young inventors from the Houston area. So that's our two success stories. That is absolutely wonderful. Yeah, it's so, cool. Greg, what are you looking for in the way of, I guess, referrals that can help you out? I'm looking for introductions to STEM teachers um, all over the region to adopt the Young Inventor Showcase in their schools, either, awesome. either as an either as an in-school curriculum, we have an eight-week course that has just been adopted globally by innovationworld.org. So we're going global with our eight-week course. So in-school curriculum, an after-school club, or a summer camp invention, three ways it can go into the school. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you. So, Thank you. Greg, how can people reach you if they'd like to, you know, if they have someone they can send to you? Either uh, greg.mysick at gmail.com or they can text me at 713-409-1091. Wonderful. It was a pleasure speaking with you, Greg. I Thank you. I wish you the best of luck and I encourage people to reach out to you and help those young inventors get going. You bet. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Have a oh, great one, one, one more One more thing. The, the, uh, our finals this year, our finals this year will be on May 6th. Okay. at the Ion Center um, in Midtown. It used to be the um, a Sears building. So May 6th uh, will be our finals. That's Saturday. Wonderful. Then I think people should come see some of those. You bet. You bet. All right. Well, okay, thank, thank you. you so much. And I look forward to seeing you in the future. You bet. Thank you, Linda. Thank you.